If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. So to find the volume of this, so we know that volume of any solid V is equal to area times the perpendicular height. So we need to find the area of this trapezium first and we times by 30 because 30 is a perpendicular height. So the area, the area of this trapezium here, so this is 6.5 centimeters. So this must be 6.5 centimeters as well. So area of trapezium, of course, is a half of H A plus B. So A and B are parallel lines. They never meet. So that means this is A and this is B. Or you can name this is B. Or you can name this is A and this is B. Doesn't really matter because A plus B is same as B plus A. The most important is to identify the perpendicular height. So this one here, H. Area of a trapezium is a half of H A plus B. So we know that H is 8, A is 6.5, B is 12. So we just substitute this value in, a half of 8, 6.5 plus 12. I just put that in the calculator. So a half of 8 or 0 0.5 times 8 bracket 6.5 plus 12 and close bracket of course. So that is 74. So this is 74 square centimeters. Now we know that volume is area times the perpendicular height. So we have the area of this now. So the area of this is 74 square centimeters. So what we do, we just times by the perpendicular height, that is 30. So 74 times 30. And the answer is 2,220 centimeters cubed. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. We know that volume of any prism is area times height. So what we need to do is we just find the area of this trapezium here. So A is equal a half of H A plus B. And the height in this case, the height of this trapezium is five because five is here. So five centimeters. So we just substitute five there and then a and B is 15 and 7 because that is 7 so this must be 7 centimeters as well. So we just put 7 and B is 15. That's all. So which is A equal a half of H A plus B and we just substitute this value in H is 5, A is 7 and B is 15. So 7 plus 15 or 15 plus 7 they're the same. Now just type that in the calculator. So half times 5 times open bracket 15 plus 7. Or you can just write time 22. So that give me 55. So the area of this trapezium is 55 square centimeters. So we know the area of this prism is area time height. And then that becomes 55 times 20 because 20 is the perpendicular height of this panel. So the answer is 1,100 centimeters cubed. So please do not forget the unit. Area is, is square units and then volume is cubic units. We know that volume of any solid is area time height, right? But the thing is to find the area of this, we need to find the perpendicular height for the trapezium first. So we just construct a perpendicular line. 
Now, because this is length equal to this, so this must be 8, and this is 6 centimeters. So this is a perpendicular height as well. So let's make it x, okay? Because of this is 14 from here to here, and this is the top here is 6. So that means 14 minus 6, 14 minus 6, 10 minus 6 is 4, and 4 is 8. And then this both n are equal, so this must be 4 centimeters and 4 centimeters. Now we can just use Pythagoras theorem to work this out. So x squared is equal to 8 squared minus 4 squared using Pythagoras theorem because 8 is the hypotenuse, that's the longest side, so we minus. So x equal, so 8 squared minus 4 squared which is 48, so which is 48, and I just write, of course this is square, so x equal square root of 48. Um, 6.93, so I just write 6.93 for now. Now please take note, because if I round too early, the answer is slightly different, so I use exact value, okay? So I use the um, answer on the calculator instead of a type 6.93. Let's see how we go. The area of a trapezium is this. So A is 6, B is 14, because all the way from here to here is 14, and the perpendicular height is X, that is 6.93. So we just substitute this value in. And please note that if I type 6.93 times a half times 14 plus 6, the answer is slightly different, so I have to use exact. So please observe on the calculator. So I use 1 over 2, and I times answer. That was the last uh, number that I stole on my calculator. So if you type 6.93, and then bracket 14 plus 6, that your answer is slightly different, okay? So just take note on that. So you go 14 plus 6 and close bracket. That's it. So the answer is 69.282. I just try it into three decimal place first. So area is 69.282. And volume of a solid is area times height. So we already found the area. And then the height of this solid is 18. So therefore 69.282 times 18 and I just go answer times so that will give me more accurate that's all so times by 18 which is equal to this so the answer is 1247.08 there you go that's the volume of this trapezoidal Please stop the video and try this one yourself. To find the volume of this, so we need to find the area of this trapezium first. And then we times by 15. We know the area of a trapezium is a half of h a plus b so this is 13 and because of this is 7 centimeters and this must be also 7 centimeters so we can find the area of this trapezium by finding the perpendicular height first that is x i just label x you can label y or h whatever now because this is 13 and this is 7 so we go 13 minus 7 10 minus 7 is 3, and 3 is 6, so 6 centimeters for this end and this end here. Because they both are equal, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is 3 centimeters, and this is 3 centimeters. So to find x, we use Pythagoras theorem. 5 is the hypotenuse, so the longest side. x squared is equal to the hypotenuse square minus the sorter side, so which is 5 squared minus 3 squared. So that's give me 16. 
So x is equal to square root of 16, which is equal to 4. So this is 4. So the perpendicular height of this is 4. H is 4, I is 7, and B is 14. Or B is 7, I is 14. Doesn't really matter. Just remember that. 7 plus 4 is same as 4 plus 7. So we just substitute this value in. So a half of 4 and then um, 7 plus 13. And I just put that in the calculator, which give me 40 square centimeters. So now we know that volume of any prism is area times height. So the area is 40 and the perpendicular height of this solid here is 15. So we just go 40 times 15. 4 times 15 is 60. So therefore the answer is 600 cubic centimeters. Thank you so much for watching.